വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു ദ ക്ലാസ് ഓഫ് ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ക്ലാസ് ത്രീ എൻ സി ആർ ടി ആൻഡ് ടുഡേസ് ടോപ്പിക്ക് ഇസ് ദ ഷിപ്പ് of the desert now here children let's learn some new words the meaning and the sentences now here we find a camel walking very 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 slowly on the sand see a camel is able to walk very easily on the sand isn't it and when we try to sit on the camel we have lot of pumps okay we enjoy a lot but what i say is let us not have a right on the animals let us not enjoy a right on animals but instead f- feed the animal wash the animal see the structure of the legs that helps the camel to walk on the sand okay now here ship of the desert means it's another name for a camel camel is known as the ship of the desert the ship of the desert is usually brown in color so if someone ask or anyone ask what is the meaning of the ship of the desert you just say another name for a camel simple meaning isn't it you can frame some sentences of your own also the summary of the lesson the ship of the desert is a conversation between a camel and a lion the camel tells him that he is called the ship of the desert for many reasons firstly he can walk on the sands even on hot days and can survive without water and food for some days he also states that he can easily eat the thorny bushes of deserts as other leafy trees are not available there hearing that the lion realizes that even if he is the king of the jungle he cannot do what the camel does now here children let's learn some new words the meaning and the sentences now here we find a camel walking very 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 slowly on the sand see a camel is able to walk very easily on the sand isn't it and when we try to sit on the camel we have lot of pumps okay we enjoy a lot but what i say is let us not have a right on the animals let us not enjoy a right on animals but instead f- feed the animal wash the animal see the structure of the legs that helps the camel to walk on the sand okay now here ship of the desert means it's another name for a camel camel is known as the ship of the desert the ship of the desert is usually brown in color so if someone ask or anyone ask what is the meaning of the ship of the desert you just say another name for a camel simple meaning isn't it you can frame some sentences of your own also now here one mile equal to 1.609344 kilometers we can round it up to 1.6 or 2 kilometers now here the meaning of miles means a very long way usually when we go for a walk we say yes i have covered 5 kilometers in the morning i have covered 10 kilometers in the morning but for distance we use miles also miles means a very long way sentence my house is 15 miles away from the river miles means a very long way sentence 
My house is 15 miles away from the river. The place is miles away from here. The place is miles away from here. Now here in the picture we find many desert plants also, grassy plants also and small hills also and usually we feel like having a walk in these places where it is calm, where it is cool, where we get fresh air, isn't it? So the meaning of miles is a very long way. The king of the forest means, who is the king of the forest? It's another name for a lion. King of the forest means another name for a lion. Now here in the picture, see, the king of the forest is there followed by other animals. Now it's not that the king of the forest scares other animals. The king, it maintains the other animals, it helps the other animals. But uh, we don't know about the different types of lion children. The li some of the lions also may be very, very good. See, we know one story about the cow and the lion. You ask your parents, they will uh, narrate the story. The sincerity of the cow is appreciated by the lion and it will not eat the cow. Okay, there are very good lions, the king of the forest also. So, the, who is the king of the forest? The lion. What's the meaning of the king of the forest? It's another name for a lion. Sentence. The king of the forest roars loudly. The king of the forest roars loudly. See, its voice is such. Yes, we think that the lion will roar very loudly and all the animals will run away, isn't it? It's not that. Okay, the voice of the lion is such. Everyone is scared of the king of the forest. Everyone is scared of the king of the forest. Actually, all the animals are not scared of the king of the forest. They feel so. Okay. Now, if we don't do any mistake, we need not get scared of anyone, isn't it? So, the roar of the lion is such and animals by hearing that they run away. Let us understand in this way. Let us take everything positive. Okay, let us not understand anyone in a wrong way. Sand. Sand means tiny grains of rock. Sand means tiny grains of rock. Now, if ever you want to know more about the sand, what you have to do is go near a place where a building is being constructed and there lot of sand can be found. You hold the sand, you observe. They are tiny grains of rock. We are walking on the sand of the beach. Near the beach children, the sand is brought out along with the water. The sand, the shells are brought along with the big wave of water. Then the sand is golden in color. The sand is golden in color. It shines in the sun, isn't it? That's why we can say the sand is light brown in color or whatever color you observe on the sand. Thorns. Thorns means a small sharp pointed tip. Thorns. A small sharp pointed tip. Now usually in the mehndi plant we find the thorns. Then while plucking the rose flowers also we have we find the thorns. Isn't it? A thorn is hurting my foot if we walk barefoot that means without slippers somewhere or the other a small thorn will break the foot and we remove it then again we start walking isn't it usually in the gardens we feel like walking barefoot without slippers 
so that our uh, foot feels very soft and we really enjoy. The rose plant has thorns on it. Now here in the picture we find the cactus plants and uh, these cactus plants grow in the desert areas mostly more in number in the desert areas because they don't need much water. Now let's learn few points about why the camel is called as the ship of the desert. We all know that desert is nothing but sand, sand everywhere and there are no trees, no rivers, no lakes, no water. Only in some places we find the oasis. And the only tree that grows there is the date palm tree, the fruit tree. I mean to say it is the fruit tree, only the dates. We don't see any covers, mangoes, pomegranates, sapotas like as we find here. So here the sand burns but it doesn't bother the camel. It can run on sand at 25 kilometers an hour. Its feet are thick and padded. In the previous lesson we have learned the meaning of padded, isn't it? Yes. The hot sun does not burn them because the feet are padded. There are no rivers or lakes in a desert. It can drink 200 bottles of water at a time. See, we can't even drink one bottle of water at a time, isn't it? It's a little difficult for us to drink so much of water at a time a bottle full of water it makes our stomach too heavy even to walk or sit or stand isn't it now the camel has a big stomach it can store water for a week or two that means it, it can store water even for two weeks it stores food in its hump it eats lot of food at one time. Then it doesn't need to eat for a fortnight. There are thorny bushes in the desert. It eats the thorns. See when a thorn pricks us only we feel uh, pain at that place, isn't it? And we try to remove the thorn, even the small grass thorn also, it pricks us a lot. But look here, the camel can eat the thorny bushes because nothing left in the desert for the camel to eat. Its tongue is so much accustomed to eat the thorny bushes. The thorns don't prick its thick tongue. The tongue is very thick, that's why the thorns doesn't prick it. But our tongue, it is very, very thin. That's the reason we are enabled to speak well, read well, talk well, okay? Now we have read the conversation between the camel and the lion from the textbook. Now let's answer few questions. Why is the camel called the ship of the desert? The camel is called the ship of the desert because it can walk across the desert even on a hot afternoon. Although the sand burns, it is not bothered by it. The camel can walk over it very comfortably. Now for how many weeks can a camel store food in its hum? A camel can store food for two weeks in its hum. What does the camel eat in the desert? A camel usually eats thorny bushes in the desert. Now choose the right answer. Name the ship of the desert. Lion, camel, crab and tiger. Camel is called as the ship of the desert. Name the king of the forest. Lion, monkey, owl, crocodile. 
it is a lion that is called as the king of the forest the feet of the camel are thick and padded thick and fat long and fat thin and padded the right answer is the camel's feet are thick and padded now feet is the plural of foot one means foot more than one is feet this is to remember children there are no rivers or lakes in plains plateaus mountains deserts yes desert is the right answer there are no rivers or lakes in the desert at a time a camel can drink how much of water 200 bottles of water 100 bottles of water 400 bottles of water 300 bottles of water the right answer is 200 bottles of water a camel stores its food in its dash stomach legs hump lips it stores a camel stores its food in its hump make as many words as you can from within the given words the first one is done for you for example r o a r i n g roaring from this word using the letters we can frame many more sentences now let's make at least three words from the given word i n n r a n r a n r o a r roar similarly frowning f r o w n a n g frowning from frowning we can frame a word such as frown own wink similarly blinking blink link king wonderingly wonder wrong and ring you can frame many more words children now here match the pictures with the words given below tusk beak mane whiskers hoof feet fin and paw that means what you need to do is you observe each picture and first try to label in the word of your mind then later on you can check the answers The first one is mane. Observe the picture. Picture of the face of the lion. Mane. See you can see the hair of the lion also. Then the second one is the paw. P a w paw. Next hoof. H o o f hoof. hoof of the camel paw of the lion beak b e a k beak beak of the bird f e e t feet w h i s k e r s whiskers f i n fin t u s k tusk so here you can identify the hoof of the horse and the feet of the camel now here you can observe three pictures and you can frame a story of your own a sample one is in this way in the first picture two goats are coming from opposite direction both of them want to cross a narrow bridge but only one can cross it because the bridge is very very narrow in the second picture they start fighting as no one is ready to move backwards in the third picture as a result both of them slip and fall into the river now you can frame a value that we learned from the story a simple value is that we should try to adjust ourselves we should try to cooperate and we should avoid quarreling 
that brings harm to us. If we are friendly, we can achieve many great things and we can be happy. Read these words aloud, paying attention to the spellings. I, the letter I, E-Y-E-I, we see with our eyes, O-U-R, R, H-O-U-R, R, 60 minutes make one R, W-E-E-K, week, week of the day, W-E-A-K, week or energetic, N E E D need. I need a pencil. K N E A D need. That means mummy needs the wheat flour to make a dough and prepare rotis. I N in inside the box. I N N in. It's a place to stay for overnight. S E E C to look at S E A water N O no K N O W no N O no no I don't like to swim in the water K N O no yes I know to sing H E R E here please come here H E A R no I cannot hear you N-O-T not, do not spit on the floor, K-N-O-T not, tie both the ends of the thread with the knot, E-I-G-H-T eight, number eight, E-T-E eight, I ate an apple, O-F of this is made of cloth. OFF. He is off to the market. That means he has gone to the market. TWO. Two. Number. It is the number. TOO. Two. This water is too cold to drink. BYE. Bye. Bye bye. BYE. Please stand by and wait for your turn. Okay, now we can also make sentences with each word. These are called as the homophones. They have the same sound but different spelling and different meaning. Now here are the sentences. I got my right eye checked at the hospital. Our relatives are likely to arrive in an hour. My friend was feeling too weak and sick to attend school in a week. My younger sister needs help to knead the dough. The travelers were relaxing in the inn. I can see the vast sea from the top floor of my house. No one knows the correct answer to a difficult question. You can come and sit here to hear the speech clearly. I did not tie the knot to the cloth. I ate my dinner at 8 o'clock last evening. Please turn off the switch of the fan. The two children are too young to go to the park alone. Neeta was passing by my desk when she greeted me. Bye. Animals living in icy cold regions include polar bears, penguins, arctic fox, snow leopard, etc. Animals living in hot wet regions include fence foxes, side window snakes, dung beetles, Mexican coyotes and thorny devil lizards. Animals living in dry hot regions include camels, ground squirrel, antelopes, etc. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.